this is Teresa Conway Hayes in Napa, Idaho, and welcome to my channel. Right now I have in front of you um, a pile of the free digitals that Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah uploaded to her website in appreciation of those folks who have tried to help her out in the last few days or so. So, um, I don't have them all printed out, and the camera is not really doing this justice. I did a couple things that I don't even normally do with the camera because I'm not a graphic uh, person, a photographer. I just wing it for this stuff. But I, I tried tapping the camera to see if that might help the focus because the paper really is beautiful. The images are really beautiful. Uh, this actually might be upside down. I like it better like that. I love this damask. That's, I don't know what the term is for, you know, this fade in, fade out. Maybe that's what the term is. And, um, but you've got so many different elements here and with different hues. This is a beautiful piece of paper. I really like it. Actually, they're not all here because I took it. Took it. That's bad English. I took two pages and I'm starting to alter a box. So I love this hummingbird. I really like hummingbirds, anyways. But the colors of this hummingbird are gorgeous. And then, unfortunately, I did that upside. down well, what I consider to be upside down. Um, but this page is beautiful too. So I'm just getting started. I've got quite a bit left to do. I'm thinking about just using this as, as a slide in um, place for like kind of like a shelf in my storage area. watch some of my other videos you can see what I'm talking about when I say my storage area um, actually I could probably put the camera on and let's see I think I could probably get a shot of it behind me okay so there's the camera for that and I never can remember which way to move nope not that way okay so there's one of them and I have six of them and they're like totes but they have handles here and doors that open up can't see that oh the one that's showing is this one right here yeah and then the lids come off and then they sit on top of each other So, I love those things. Okay, back to these. I get hungry every time I see these. I don't even know what they taste like. I don't even know if I've ever had any, but they're making me hungry. I just had dinner. This is beautiful. This is like, I don't know, I think she took a picture of a pillow, and then there's some damask, and then some argyle. Very pretty. I'm sorry, I gotta say it, this lady kind of weirds me out. So, she is not going to be used. She looks like a porcelain doll, but yeah. Look at this beautiful color. First time this color printed out, I was really impressed. This reminds me of Dr. Ogden in Murdoch Mysteries very professional modern woman in the Victorian age. 
where women are nothing more than chattel. Obviously printed this one the wrong way, but I'll be able to get some of these. I'll be able to get some of these. I wasted three, but I could probably I could use these in a collage, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a master board today, tonight. This was the first page I printed, and I just thought it was beautiful. That's going to make a beautiful journal page. It's going to make some beautiful strips, like wallpaper strips or something. Um, it would be a beautiful collage page. It's just lovely. So let's see, how short am I? One file had 21 pages, and what did the other file have? Let me grab my mouse. The one file had 21 pages, and the other one had 12 pages. And probably the second one is my favorite. Oh yeah, I didn't print all these out. There's Huh. I ran out of paper? No. I guess I was just only printing half because I was afraid that um, they wouldn't print right. I'm going to try something real quick here. Mm, these are PDFs. PDFs you can't I was going to try and do like 8 instead of 4. You can do that with a JPEG, but you can't do that with a PDF. So, I will try something else. I'm just going to give this a shot and see what happens. I'm making some smaller images. Okay, back to this. So today I'm gonna collage. Tonight I'm gonna collage. I'm not necessarily gonna use those to collage. I want to Gonna be cute. So we're gonna make some fun journal cards. So 
So I, to make, I want to do a fast master board, is what I want to do. So to be fast, I'm going to tear these in four sections. I've never done this before. I'm just winging it. In fact, the idea is just coming to me as I go. I'm going to call this, what do you call, oh, so there's speed dating. This is speed master board. Don't ask me where I get some of my ideas from. Just shake your head. for a variety of color. Oh, but before I forget, I was inspired by Cheryl, and I can never remember. Usually I can remember the creators, the YouTuber's um, channel name, but I can't remember their name. Her, I can remember her name, but I can't remember. Something journal. Um, but anyway, she did a collaged envelope and did a wraparound pocket so that so that when you wrap the pocket around you would have a pocket here pocket here, lots of pocket space there, and a tuck pocket there. Well, they're all kind of tuck pockets, I guess, but when they're tiny like that, I tend to call them tuck pockets more. So then you could, you could glue both sides down on three sides, or you could like glue this down on three sides and then let this one flap open like that. I was considering that idea. I would definitely put this on a sturdy paper because even though this is just an envelope in copy paper, it's really thick. I don't know what in the world I did. I must have gotten carried away with the paper. But it's it's like cardstock. It is so heavy duty. Okay, so I want this page here. Oh man, I forgot I was I was speed masterboarding. Can't interrupt myself if I'm gonna speed masterboard. <laughs> I need to be careful what I'm saying. You know what would be funny is a bunch of crafting video bloopers. Wouldn't that be funny? When people said the most embarrassing things. I know when I think of that, the first thing I, first person I think of, and I don't remember what she said, but she, she had a little bit of a blooper and it made me laugh, um, was Julie with something crafts. Creative crafts? She's another one. I can remember her her name, but I always forget the channel. Mine's easy. If you remember my name, you remember my channel, Teresa Conway Hanks. So I have a hyphenated name. Never shared this part before because um, when I got divorced. I didn't change my last name because I still had young children and I didn't like the idea of having a different last name than my children. So then when I, the children grew up and 
you know, I didn't really care what my last name was. And it was just wasn't an issue. I think I'm gonna stop there. And um, then I got remarried several years later. The most wonderful man in the whole wide world. Sorry, ladies. For those of you who have good husbands, I got the best one. I'm just saying. So, um, just a second. Be right there. some mixed media. Let's throw in some straw paper. I don't want to open that one. That one hasn't been opened. some Amazon journal paper. Let's throw in some cabbage dyed paper. Lots of color. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. And we'll do some different shapes now.
Now, I don't typically have a mess on my desk because I use my desk for crafting, which is very important to me, but most importantly, because I wouldn't be able to afford my craft supplies if I didn't have my business, I use my craft, my desk for work. So, let me get a tear roller. I thought if I waited until everything was small like this, that it would go faster to take those edges off. Anyways, I thought I was saying something. Oh, so I do have to keep things tidy. And on top of that, because I live in a travel trailer, which is a toy hauler, that means you can put quads and motorcycles and different types of our recreational vehicles in your RV, which is, stands for recreational vehicle. But the garage of the toy hauler is where my office is at. We'll be tearing it down here on Saturday because we're going to go to Cascade Lake for 4th of July weekend. Go camping with some family. So anyways, everything that I have, like I have a large scrap and a small scrap envelope, you know, those big plastic envelopes. And I have ephemera holders and ephemera um, boxes, and baskets, everything has a place. And I've gotten to the point where I almost automatically find everything. And now that I just bought two more, yeah, I think I bought two more of those storage things. Might have been three. They, yeah, they come in a set of three. Um, now I can put everything in there and lock them up, and they will travel very nicely. Well, except for, like, my office stuff. My office stuff gets put away in a different way to make sure the monitors don't break. My computer and iPads go in my office bag. And that keeps them nice and cushioned and safe. All right. So... Usually I do the backing and then I collage over the backing. This time I'm going to collage and then I'm going to back. Oh, I need one more thing. I need some book pages. Oh, I have to stretch. Okay, so there's no book pages here. So let's get rid of this. Oh, I wonder what kind of texture that would put in there. So these are some of Roxy's, Roxy Creations. I wonder what kind of texture that would throw in there because I, I love turning digitals into what looks like aged paper. might be really cool. Okay, so 
and now I'm going to get some notebook paper. Remember how I said everything was tidy here? <laughs> I'm throwing everything behind me because I'm trying to do this fast. One more thing. That's enough. Now, let's make some piles. We'll get a little assembly line going here, and this should go relatively fast now that I'm organized. Okay. I'm not going to ink. Oh, hey, that's good copy paper that I got. That I have. I love avocado paper. Whoa. That came out really fast. I'm just going to take a minute and fill this up because that is coming out way too fast. Oh. Now for this, I'm really excited to use this.
I'll tell you what, this is a lot of fun. I'm forcing myself to go as fast as I possibly can without making too much of a mess with my glue. And it's forcing me to not overthink what pieces I'm going to use and when I'm going to use them. I'm trying to generalist let's see if I can say that. General genuine whoa. Okay, maybe I can spell it. I'm trying to use a lot of paper overlapping. Um I don't know why I can't say that word tonight. To like reinforce the paper means I'm not backing it until after I'm done. So that's cool and um, viewer that just joined us um, I am doing what I'm calling speed masterboard so I just I tore all my pieces up to start off with and I'm just grabbing from my piles and I'm trying not to overthink this I think I'm going to start building down this way now. I'm trying not to get off the camera, but as this monster grows, that's going to be more and more difficult. So we've got some book pages, we've got some of Chevy Debbie Duda's digitals, we've got some of um, Rachel's digitals from Roxy Creations, we've got some Edith Holden's, some cabbage dyed paper, some avocado paper. Okay, I haven't used any, I need a big enough piece for that corner. I haven't used any straw paper yet, so get some straw paper down. I'm not going to go past 12 inches.
so this is 10 inches. So I can go a little bit longer there. Let's bring that to 10, 12 inches. So right there. Oh man, I'm going to put it on top because I don't want to lose all that beauty. Okay, so that's going to go right there. really hard to stay on camera. up here and I think I'll just use another piece of straw paper for that. Uh, maybe not. I think I'll use another book page. camera again. So last night I did some reading on the author Rudyard Kipling. I don't know if I said his name right. He's not one that I have read in my lifetime. Um, you know, I've heard about Mark Twain. I really haven't read a lot of Mark Twain. I've read some. But, like, I've read um, Nathaniel Hawthorne and I don't know who else. Anyways, um, but I was getting my books messed, mixed up in my head. And so I thought that I maybe had seen something objectionable in that book, in his writings. This got kind of crinkled probably because of that. I wished I would have incorporated more of that. 
I really like that on there. So this was really a fun, cool exercise. So the the video is at 42 minutes right now, but that is um, showing you some other things. That's preparing the papers and that's gluing them down. And so if if I didn't have to worry about the glue being dry, I could cut this up into some journal cards. That would be fun. But I, I need to do more gluing for this to be solid. We've got Italian paper. Um, we've got straw paper, which is Italian paper. I was going to look for my German book, but I decided to not take the time. So I think I am just going to give this some more strength <coughs> excuse me, by gluing over all this. isn't something that I normally do. I'm usually more um, cautious with my supplies, <laughs> my precious art supplies. Like that straw paper, that's a precious supply. I think I've got some more coming in though. So it's not like I'm running out of what I have, but I've got some more coming in just to make sure that I have enough because I like it. Oh, I didn't hardly use any of my mixed media, just that one piece.
this avocado paper is so pretty. Who'd have thought that avocado paper would be this color? Again, this is Rachel's digital that I worked on to make it look old and crumpled and I just worked on to make it look aged. Feels like two pieces of paper.
Okay. Now that's a pretty sturdy master board. Let me pull this camera up a little bit and see if that helps to look at it. There we go. Zooming out helped. Yeah, so I'm going to call that a wrap. After the glue dries better, I'll double check and see if there's any more places that I need to tidy up on. I like to take my bone folder instead of my fingers and see if I can find edges that need some more glue helps to not rip the paper that way. Ugh, too much glue on my hands. Yep, that looks pretty good. Okay, actually, oh, I better not. I was tempted. If I had a guillotine cutter, I would go ahead and cut this, but I don't. I have a, a trimmer. A guillotine would just go ch chop, and it would chop it. The, the trimmer, if the glue is wet, it will just tear and make an ugly mess. So... That's what I have for you tonight. I hope that that was in, as enjoyable for you as it was for me. I enjoyed it. That was really fun to just rush through it so that I didn't think too much about which papers I was using. Okay. That's it. I am stopping this time. So thanks for joining me tonight. And I hope that you will join me in the next video. If you haven't subscribed before, I hope you'll consider subscribing and hitting that like button and commenting so that I can get to know a little bit about those who are watching my videos.